Like many of you, I've been skeptical of robot vacuums, but today we're going to be going through the Bob Sweep Pet Hair Slam Vacuum. The one we got is coming in the color Jade, and it has two brush heads and a center brush, which makes it amazing for covering both sides and saving time on extra battery usage. Bob is capable of cleaning carpets, hardwood, and tiles. It has app-enabled connectivity with Wi-Fi, Slam navigation, which I don't know what it is, and LiDAR mapping. Beyond those two features, unparalleled cruising, room-to-room -room cleaning, upgraded Wi-Fi control, advanced scheduling, custom sweep zones, and no sweep zones are included with this Bob Pet Hair Slam. In the box, you'll get your Bob, your charging adapter, your charging station, your cleaning tools, four side brushes, two filters, a wet mop attachment, and two microfiber mopping cloths, and is capable of working with Alexa and Google Voice Assistants. We'll be going through that, so stick around to the end of the video, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Getting into the dimensions, the Bob Pet Hair Slam is 13 inches long and three inches tall. Once you've gotten Bob unboxed and you've gotten the plastic off, remove those slam bumper styrofoam pads. After that, you want to put the brushes on. You'll want to make sure to line them up properly. One is right and one is left and you get two of them. So that is a nice replacement set. To turn on Bob for the first time, you're going to want to hold the go button. And when you do, it'll make this sound. <laughs> You have three buttons on the top, one for connecting to Wi-Fi, one to send your Bob to the charger, and one to start cleaning all of the areas for your current map. We'll go through all of that in this video, so don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It is a big way to support the channel. Timestamps will be in the description below if you want to skip around. Just to finish up the hardware side of the tutorial, this is your water mop basin, and it does take only water, but I did put some vinegar in it, and it did not have any issues, so maybe some light pine saw with some water would be a good mix if you want to get the floors permeating with a nice sense. It's pretty easy to take the these mop heads off you can wash them in the washer just make sure you don't do anything crazy make sure to use no scent detergent and cold water while washing now getting into setting up the app for Bob you have to download the Bob sweep app which we'll have in the description below for you you'll want to hit the Wi-Fi button until it is blinking saying trying to connect to Wi-Fi I'm not gonna have all those sounds going off but generally it will make some noise you can turn that off in the app once you have it all set up now make sure your phone's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on to connect to the Bob pet hair slam once you've established a connection you'll have it successfully connect or maybe you need to be closer to your Wi-Fi. Once you've connected, you'll have a software update. It might take some time, so make sure you're plugged in and charged with your Bob. And then once that is done, you can go in into the cleaning preferences where you can mute your device, enable low power mode, as well as edge detection. Next up is mapping. You'll need to press the start button or go on your Bob to start the mapping. Once that has started, you should double check to make sure everything is off your floors when it comes to wires or anything that's weird that you could pick up yourself. Once you've started the mapping, you'll see no map at first, but once Bob has actually started cleaning he will slowly but surely build a map in the given rooms that he has enough power to go around to this is something that you might want to look into and have him charge up all the way before doing a full unit mapping and Bob will clear one room at a time before mapping another as Bob maps a room he will detect any spaces leading to new rooms which then will be connected and created into separate areas you will be able to connect or divide portions of rooms that you see fit depending on how you see it after you have the whole mapping relative to doors honestly I have a few doors that make it so my Bob can't go to all the rooms without me making sure that the doors are open, closed, or something like that. So make sure that is something that you take into account before setting up a cleaning schedule. As you can imagine, mapping times vary depending on how much space you have for Bob to map. Now, sometimes Bob might have some issues with cleaning. Maybe it's an edge sensor, maybe it's, it's a brush stuck, but we'll be going through how to go through and troubleshoot, test, fix, all that stuff. In the app, you'll want to go to history and trouble record. And then from there, once you go into the trouble record, you'll see all the different issues that you've had over your time of owning Bob. It is sometimes an easy fix. Sometimes it's a little bit of a, you got to move some furniture around like this welcome mat that has some very uneven ground, which makes it think that it might be on a cliff or some edge. If you get an error from a side brush or a main brush, it's easy to fix. And we'll be going through it in this video. Make sure that those wheels don't collect too much dust. They will start squeaking after a while. So clean those out regularly to get the main brush out. It is those two clips on the bottom and then you pull it up and then it is just a simple regular vacuum system brush. These brush heads can be taken out and removed to be cleaned. You do need a Phillips screwdriver. Once you have that, you can take off that cap and then you'll be able to get all of that dust out as well as those brushes, which do come out. And when you take them out, it'll make it a lot easier to clean. You do get a cleaning tool as well, which we'll be going through just honestly. It's a lot easier to just use your hands at first because there are just lots and lots of different things that are in there, whether it's hair, dust, or loose pieces of carpet, it's definitely easier to get it out first
first with your hands. Then for the smaller stuff, the brush cleaner is much easier to use. Once you're done cleaning your main brush, we're gonna take care and clean the dustbin out. Dustbin is comprised of the basin as well as the filter, which we'll go over in a little bit. Make sure you dump out all of that and then take that brush, clean it out, get all that you can out. You can use compressed air to increase the effectiveness of your cleaning but make sure that you're in a well ventilated area. We're gonna go over the filter cleaning now. There is a little bit more that I could have done to clean this because you can take that filter out of the whole housing that goes into the dustbin. You wanna brush off both sides of the filter, maybe use some compressed air on it as well as take that housing out and clean out the filter covers on the housing because that will build up pretty quick. I only did the outside, but you can also clean the inside by taking that filter out and reusing. And if you ever break your frame or your filter, you could always replace it on the Bob Sweep website. Once you've cleaned up your filter, and your frame, close your dustbin back up and put it back in Bob. Now you wanna put your main brush back together. That might take a little bit, so we're speeding up the video here. And in general, make sure you get off any of those little pieces of dust or dog hair, carpet, anything that you might have. You'll wanna use that Phillips screwdriver again to put that screw back together. And then you'll want to put your main brush back in. You'll wanna line up that square side with the square side, as well as put the circular side in first. Once you have the circular side in, you can go put that square side in, put the cover on, and you are good to go. Lastly, we're gonna clean the side brushes those things can get some hair underneath make sure you pull them out I use all three of the bristles and pull up that really seems to help get it out beyond build up on the side brushes you want to get any of that little bits of dust out with some tweezers or something I had some hair in there make sure you get in there make sure to put the brushes in the right sides and you get those brushes relined up to the right side now that Bob's all cleaned up he's back to operational and he can go ahead and clean wherever he needs to also if your mapping's not done and you need to continue just press the start button Button again or the go button on Bob to have it start mapping more of your place. I do have to reiterate, I love Bob. He does a great job on the daily maintenance vacuuming in the kitchen. It's honestly the best area for me because I like walking on my floors barefoot. I will say Bob is not the most powerful of mopping technology, but that's something that we're going to talk about just in the near future in the video. So stick around. Don't forget that we have those timestamps so you don't have to spend that much time on each part. But in general, I want to give a description of my experience with this product. Getting into Bob's mopping feature you want to take out the dustbin which you will want to clean out pretty regularly I mean even with just a slight vacuuming it will pick up everything that is on there and with that mop attachment you can pull it off easy to fill and you do want to use distilled water as described in the instructions I will say that Bob is not the best mop so if you're expecting him to do deep cleaning on different projects that you have that have spills or whatnot it's not exactly gonna be the best this is just a nice little shine I did put some distilled white vinegar in with some water and it did do just fine so I think putting a bit of pine saw with the water would be just fine. When it comes to Bob's tactics of mopping you can see that he vacuums and then after follows with the mop behind him. This uh, is a little bit harder to clean and when it comes to the deeper smudges and stains on your floor you do want to do your own job of cleaning before having Bob go over it. He will not get into the deep nitty gritties he just does a basic vacuuming followed up by a mop so make sure you remember that. Now after Bob has has mapped your whole unit, whatever it is, whether it be an office space, home, you want to go into the map editor toolbox and either divide rooms, connect rooms, add labels, maybe even erase a map. I will say Bob is not the best at dividing the rooms on his own, so I had to go in and make some changes. I have a hallway that connects my kitchen to all the other rooms, and that seems to have been sectioned off separately, so I had to go in and make these changes. You can do whatever changes you need for division. I'd say divide before you add, do as many divisions as you need. You will have a max of 12 rooms, I believe, maybe more, but that is how many labels you will have available to you. When it comes to labeling, none of these labels will apply to Google Voice activation or Alexa Voice activation, so just remember that it will not really matter that much. Maybe in the case of other family members using the app for spot cleaning or room cleaning. Once you've made the connections and divisions to your room, you'll want to save your map. If you don't save your map, you will probably have some issues with it in the future, so make sure you save it because it is annoying to have to have Bob remap the whole unit and then redo everything that you already did. This will also have you ready for the next part, which is no sweep zones, which you'll want to have set up for when you're mopping. If you have carpet or any other type of surface other than tile, because you don't want to be mopping things that are absorbing water, you just want to have it go over something that can air dry easily. So we made sure to close off any of the carpeted areas, and that is what it looked like. Once you've drawn out all your no sweep zones, go back to your maps and then to the top, and then save as a new map, because that active map will not come back if you switch it out for the saved map 
that you've already had set up for vacuuming the whole space. If you want to vacuum, make sure you've enabled your saved map for vacuuming, as well as if you want to mop, make sure you use your saved map for mopping. Once you have these two maps saved, you will only have one map available left to save because they only allow you to have three maps. And with that, we will be going through and setting up a third map, which will be for a smaller vacuuming session. So maybe I don't want to have the whole place vacuum, but I want to have specific areas vacuum. You will be able to set up that third map. You can also do a no sweep zone, not just by an area to cover, but also by lined border. You can change this to whatever you really want to do. I prefer to have the boxes more so than the lines. It doesn't seem like the border lines work as well as the no sweep boxes. So make sure you take that into account when setting up all this and make sure you save all of your maps before you lose them because it is really annoying to lose your maps. Trust me, honestly, I had lost one of my maps and I had to remap the whole unit and it was a doozy. If you're ever unsatisfied with one of your no sweep zone maps, you could always delete it and restart from one of your other maps. Just make your all area vacuum map active and then once it's active, you can make your changes and save as a new map. After all that, your maps are pretty much ready. The last feature you'd want to know about the maps is you can change the orientation by 90 degrees in whichever way you see fit that works best with your layout or cardinal directions that match up with your north, south, east, and west. Next up to cover is room and spot clean, which you can find right next to Bob in the app at the quick clean option. And once you click on it, you'll have two different options to pick between. You'll have spot clean as well as room clean. Personally, I like room clean when I'm trying to save battery and not trying to go have Bob do the whole unit. But in general, spot clean is just like you get a box and you set it up. And from there, you just single tap the green box and it will give you options to start. Now that we've gone through pretty much the whole app, the last part is the cleaning schedule, which is amazing, awesome. And I have it going at the best of times, three in the morning. And from there, you basically just set up the areas that you want to have clean. You can choose to pick areas or to have Bob clean everywhere. I choose specific areas because I don't want him cleaning everywhere all the time. You can also choose how loud Bob is going to be while cleaning. Turbo lift vacuum will be louder. If you want him to be quieter, turn that off. Next, you'll be asked to continue to save the session. And from there, you have successfully saved your cleaning schedule. Now, the last part I want to go over is when you go to quick cleaning and you've changed furniture around, you will have some issues that will solve themselves out with the mapping. Bob will immediately start to add new maps to your area that you have not quite have mapped yet. I had a bunch of couches, furniture in the way, so don't worry about it. It will just be added to your current map space and you can make the changes and divide or connect rooms however you see fit. Some areas that are completely separate from other spaces will be detected, such as closets, cleaning closets and pantries. Bob will also detect furniture changes and placements, so it will always know where those things are so you can make a no sweep map of that if you want. If you ever want to know when Bob was last used, you can go into your history section of your app and then go to the cleaning history and it will show you the areas of which you had Bob clean as well as the amount of time and the square footage that it covered. Next, we're going to cover Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant integration. Unfortunately, you only get a basic setup which will be set to your current map to be used. And in this video, we're setting through Google Assistant. So once you go in how to connect your bot to Google Assistant, you'll follow all of these settings. You'll have your email and your password to copy. Next in the Google Home app, you'll go to link action by adding the device and using a device that works with Google. And now let's go through that. You'll start by opening up your Google Home app, going to the device section, going to add, going to works with Google. And then from there, you'll type into the search bar at the top, Bob Sweep. Once you've clicked on Bob Sweep, you'll be asked for your phone number or email address, depending on what you set up your account with. Once you get past that two factor verification for making sure you're not a robot, you'll want to make sure to let that you chose the Bob Sweep app to set up your account. Then from there, you'll want to grab that phone number, email, copy the email in, and then copy the password into the given field. Once you've done all that, give it the moment that it needs to have all the integration happen. You'll have to do the not a robot verification once again. And then once that's done, your Bob Sweep vacuum will be in your Google app as well as Alexa, depending on which one you're setting up with. We're only doing Google here, but I will say that the only way to use Bob within the app is a full cleaning for whatever map that you have him set on. So make sure that if you're going to tell Google to have Bob clean, you make sure you have the right area set up or the correct map. Beyond Bob integrating into the Google Home app, you will have a couple of different settings that you are able to change for Bob as well as just the home he's in, the room he is stationed in, and all that different stuff. Not like it really matters in the grand scheme of things, but if you are particular and you want everything labeled properly, this is how you would do it. Also, don't forget to register your warranty. This helps with any of the issues you might have in the future with your Bob and from there keep you covered in the long term. Now covering one of my most common issues with Bob is loading the maps. Once you open the app, you will need to give the app some time to catch up with the server to get your maps loaded. This might take maybe a 
minute, two minutes. It shouldn't take that long, but the longest it's been is that. So if you're worried why your map's gone, that's how you fix it. Just wait. Now, as I was saying earlier, new rooms being detected will be a thing if you end up having some new area open like a cleaning closet or a pantry. One thing that you can do is just set up a divider or just completely separate the rooms. Um, this is something that I did, but generally it's something that you will have to maybe look into and take care of in the future. So make sure you have everything mapped the first time instead of having to have it mapped later. That's my biggest piece of advice I can give. The last piece of advice is take into account how many rooms you're going to have scheduled for your nightly vacuuming because if you don't, you will end up having your dustbin overfilled or having some error with one of your brushes from not being cleaned off too frequently enough in maintenance or just your main brush being completely clogged with hair. If you do have dogs, I have very long hair and I found out that my hair is really all in there and it covers it. So the more hair you have, the more likely you have to clean more often. Now, I do apologize for it being a longer video, but I did want to cover the app, which seems to always be the part that takes the longest. So thanks for bearing with me. Don't forget to smash that like button to this channel as well as subscribe to the channel. There is no other way to support the channel at the moment, but in the future, we will be making some changes, which will hopefully add some funding and support to the channel. So thanks again for checking out the video. Don't forget to stay elevated, keep your floors cleaned and be able to walk barefoot in your house and peace out.